So I was at the nursery the other day. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of hoarse. Uh, Blue Star. And found some persimmon trees. It says Gambo, which I think that's misspelled. <clears throat> I think Gambo or whatever it is. It, uh, is a jumbo persimmon, which is supposed to have like five inch fruits or something like that. So I got that one. And I got another one a little bit smaller. And also, I think that's misspelled. I think it's Guan Yang or something. Persimmon. Kind of neat. So, that means I got two more cultivars of persimmons. <clears throat> and because I'm wearing a brace and in pretty bad shape, um, I didn't know if I could even dig this down. But <clears throat> I had a gout attack, I guess, that was moving between my left and right feet and my knee and both of my wrists. Um, so we had some volunteers coming to uh, help with Natalie's accommodations in the master bathroom. And I felt okay after they left. <clears throat> I went and got the two persimmons. Um, the ground was really soft in these little areas, so it was easy to dig. And as soon as, like, nighttime hit, 8.30, 9 o'clock, I laid down, and I got a lot of pain in my wrist. <clears throat> I had lifted, like, a double, or helped lifted a double vanity that's, um, like a fabricate, fabricated marble or whatever, which is, like, I guess like composite mixed with uh, marble dust, like real marble dust, and it's very heavy. It's probably not as heavy as real marble, but it's probably similar. And I almost lost it, and my wrist kind of twisted. And at the time, it didn't really hurt, but a few hours later, that was and it. Now I'm on my fourth respiratory infection in like three months, two months, maybe three months, but first one I just you know, had just a regular cold or something the second one I ended up getting pneumonia and had a cough for like six weeks plus the third one was just like a, a very mild cold and now probably something similar I don't feel too sick but my voice is definitely messed up and I got a cough and a morning cough and a evening cough and all that good stuff we're just looking at the some of the elderberry trees that are probably about eight or nine foot up in the air now so hopefully they'll actually bloom um this will be nice to see see if they're any different than what's already you know kind of here we got a pile of stinging nettles so i gotta be careful i'm in shorts piles and piles of stinging nettles these are actually called heart-shaped nettles or heart leaf heart leaf nettles or whatever I guess they kind of resemble a heart shape or something, the leaves, but you touch them, you'll see what kind of heart, what kind of love you get from them. But, um, yeah. Um, as far as persimmons go, there, there's only like one or two other varieties I want, like the Nishimaru Wasi. Wasi uh, and I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Um, uh, they also call it coffee cake. But they also have a smaller one called chocolate, which is supposed to have like similar flavors. Uh, it's a smaller, smaller than the coffee cake, but sometimes they call that maru or something as well. Both of them are inter interchangeably used with that common name. So yeah, so when the chocolate one gets its name because when it's pollinated, the seeds actually turn the flesh kind of brown like chocolate. I think maybe that's what happens with the the coffee cake one too. I'm not sure, but they say it has more of like a spicy flavor. Those two are like the most different of all of the pawpaw, I mean, not pawpaws, persimmons that are available. So I would like to get at least, like I said, one or something out here near these other ones so they can pollinate each other. <clears throat> so far we got Saijo, Tananashi, I think Giant Fuyu, the Guan Yang, and the, uh, what's this other one I just said? Um, the, the Jumbo or Gambo or whatever. 
uh, mainly like two types of persimmons. There's like the fugu type, which is the non-astringent, which means you can eat like an apple, you know, when they're hard. And then the, uh, like the hachia type, which is astringent until it's ripened really soft. And then there's kind of an in-between, one where it's astringent if it's not pollinated, but it's non-astringent if it gets pollination and has seeds. So it's kind of interesting. So persimmons are also known as something that will like help you fight acid reflux or supposedly will. But at the same time, there's, there's chemicals, natural chemicals in it that supposedly will give you a stomach ache. So, so it might help, help with one stomach issue and then hurt with another stomach issue. I've never eaten more than like two or so at a time, so I couldn't tell you if I eat like five, if it'd like give me diarrhea or stomach cramps or just pain, who knows. But I guess if we have five, six, seven cultivars going, um, they're either gonna have to be eaten fast or stored for later consumption, you know, for ice creams or for breads and stuff. and. I really don't have enough refrigerator and freezer space to store like, you know, 100 pounds of persimmons. So I have to sell them, give them away, bake with them, whatever. But that's about it. I just figured I'd talk a little bit about the new, two new persimmon trees that I got. And the hopefully they survive and things are looking up on the gardening and fruit tree front.